Happy, happy New Year, my wonderful, beautiful, golden ladies of my heart. Here we are in a new year. So, as promised, I am going to do some wild and crazy eyeshadows today. It's just, I feel it's necessary for us to bring out our inner flamboyancy. Now, this can be as bold as you want, or as subtle as you want. And I'm gonna go for somewhere in between because this is a day-to-day -day look, meaning I won't be flamboyant, but it'll be not neutral. <laughs> so let's get started. All right, I've already prepped my eyelids. They're red to go. I'm gonna take me a flat fluff fluff brush. <laughs> okay, so I am gonna go in to the lid with this color here. It's more of a neutral, just to start. And I'm gonna go peach. Yeah. And I just go over in my traditional areas on my eyebrow. On my eyebrow. I'll come back. Alrighty, guys. Ooh, look. Settle, settle, settle up. I have a lot of real estate up here. I like saying that. I could build a house up here. And a cottage, possibly. And a stable for horses. <laughs> Alright. There's the very subtle ta -ta -ta. Now, in the corner with the orange. Very, as I said, all of these are pigmented, but they can they blend out beautifully. So I am going to go here in this little corner. See, Ooh. I have a pretty green neutral. I've got a neutral lip, so my eyes can be a little more glamorous. Oh, this is pretty. See, I told you, you can make it as light as you want because I have hooded eyes. I try to stay, no, it's, as I said, it's probably going to look really bl bright at first, blight, really blight, but I've just been playing with all these colors. Okay, now I'm going to go in the other eye. <gasps> yeah. So, resolutions. What is it you really want for 2024 for yourself? I mean, what age are you coming into? And... An age, they're just numbers. They're just numbers. As we all know, some people, I have a, a really close friend that is uh, six, I think she turned 70, <laughs> but she's forever 69. She just won't go there. Well, I'm going to be proud to get to 72 because I made it. That's five years from now. That's my five-year plan to make it to 72. Okay. All right. Now look at pink or orange or tangerine. All righty. So that's what I'm doing right there. And then I'm going to take me a Fluff Fluff McGruff. Oh. All right. Well, I'm just going to take the fluffiest one I have. It's still kind of... <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to very lightly, very lightly. But see, I want it to still be there. I think it's pretty. I do. And it'll look much, much better once I get it all feng shui. That's what I want to do this year. I want to be feng shui. Okay, see? CCC, pretty. Now, I want to go a little deeper with this brown. And you're gonna say, oh no, that's neutrals again. It's not, okay. This little brush, I'm gonna dip in the brown just on the top part. And then I'm gonna go in this little corner here. This little brush makes it so you can pretty much Start a little ways in and go down like a so. Very, very subtle. Those that want more than subtle, go for it. I mean, this is all preference. And we can do anything in our lives. Who, who says we can't? Who says we can't go bold and flamboyant and have a wing? I just have never been able to make a wing. Let's see. Take your time. Did I look less hooded? And if you want, you take take the same little brush that you started with the color and use that to blend. And that makes them come in nice together. If you want more of a crease, you can put more of a crease up there. Everyone agrees that these are spring colors. But being that it was sold in winter, I think that, and it's a, called a candy shop, candies all year long, okay? Whatever we want. Now, ooh, for the lid, I am going to go this color, this little sparkly here, and I'm going to do a little dabble do you, and I'm going to go right up straight, and 
coming down. See, oh, it's pretty. You can take this anywhere you want because I want that glimmer glimmer and then I will take the same brush that I used for my crease color and then what I do Change in altitude. It must be on a roller coaster. I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm going to pat, try not to drag, so that I can camouflage that area that I want. Because the, these are real, these eyes here, <laughs> it's a lot of skin, extra skin here, and it's really easy for me to um, go too deep with it. Okay, on the corner, since I have green on today, I'm going to take this green shimmer here in the corner. I'm going to take another little tiny shimmer brush, a little tiny brush, dip it in there, and then I'm going to go right here. I just want my corner to have some of that grin on it. There's turquoise. Oh, There's all sorts of beautiful colors in this. I don't think it's too flamboyant. All right. All right, so I've got this by NYX, Epic Wear, and this is in Berry Goth. Can't really, it's kind of like a, a deep purple. So I am going to go on my waterline. All right, so this is a very, I just do a little tiny baby wing, okay? And if you want, you can, you know, go on down. I just don't draw tension down there because I do have really deep set eyes and I just, I want my eyes to pop up. Very, very, very subtle. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I got it as a gift for Christmas. Little tiny mascara. I, as I say, I just love these little sizes. Oh, you see the little brush on there and I am going to go up, up. Go straight up, straight up to keep it from clumping. I'm going to do a, a brow uh, review on brows on the on pencils and wedgies and uh, pomade wedgies. Well, you know, I meant the little slanted. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be testing those out and letting you know what I think. Okay, ladies, you're going to have to let me know what you think about this uh, palette. The Candy Shop by Ju Juicy... By, by the Candy Shop by Juvia's Place. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And they're as flamboyant or as subtle as you like. I, I'm really liking this. It's fun to play with it. I don't care if it's for the spring. It's for whatever time I feel. I feel springy a lot in my step. That's because I'm moving more. Okay, lots of fun things coming, ladies. I cannot wait to bring you your suggestions. I love the suggestions. And as I said, if I can deliver it, I will do it. Have a blessed rest of your day. I love you all. Thank you for your supporting my channel. I hope you like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you much. Hasta la vista, baby.